Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to our session. Uh, today we're going to show you a real use case in telecom, uh, which is using water to do uh, energy and resource cost of the data center. So, uh, my name is Yumeng Bao. I'm from China. I work for DT Corporation. And this is Alex. He's from uh, Russia and he works for Servonica. And let's get started. And the first thing we were introduce uh, our uh, problem, what kind of problem we are going to solve. And then Alex will introduce Watcher briefly to you guys. And then we will show you a real demo using Watcher to solve this problem. And it is reported that for a data center, the energy bills are typically the second largest uh, items in their budgets. And we can see from the left chart that the first uh, largest factor in monthly cost is the hardware cost, and then goes to the second largest one, which is related to power. And you can see from the green and the yellow one. And however, it is predicted that the cost of electricity per year for a server will soon ex exceed the cost of the hardware itself. And the reason is that servers are not efficiently used. And we say when the servers are powered on during most time, they are idle. And only 15 of the time they are having um, real workload, say having virtual machines running on them. And the most of the time they are idle without workload. And what's even worse, um, even when the servers are idle, the electricity they consume can reach a number of 16 to 19% of that at uh, active work, working status. And this is, uh, this is a very terrible problem in, uh, for a data center. Um, okay. And this, this problem can be solved from different levels, such as uh, from host level, we use dynamic power management. And we can also solve this uh, from a virtualizing level, such as consolidation and VM selection, load balancers, etc. And also we can, cons uh, we can solve this problem by consuming renewable energy resources. And OpenStack Watcher, we provide a, we provide a solution from the host level um, when using Watcher, when servers are left without VMs, Watcher can automatically power off them, or we can say turn, into, turn uh, them into sleep mode. And when the workload increases more than a given value, Watcher can automatically power on them. And next, uh, Alex will introduce uh, what is Watcher for you. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Alex, uh, and I'm a Watcher project uh, team lead. And uh, you know, uh, Watcher is an optimization resource uh, project uh, in uh, OpenStack infrastructure. Uh, so uh, we leverage uh, services provided by other projects. Uh, mainly, we uh, uh, we have some actions like. Uh, Leaf migrations, cold migrations, uh, resizing, power on, power off actions, and so on. And uh, to apply the sections, uh, we need some sort of strategy. And uh, the strategies uh, uh, variates from consolidation strategy uh, to uh, load balancing strategy, thermal uh, strategy, uh, noise neighbor strategy, and so on. So. Uh, our main goal is to reduce uh, the total cost of ownership across the cluster. Uh, we have the following uh, architecture. Uh, we have uh, three uh, different services. Uh, uh, names are uh, Watcher API, Watcher Decision Engine, and Watcher Applier. And uh, we have also uh, Watcher uh, Python client, and uh, watcher plugin for uh, Horizon. So uh, we also use some metrics uh, to generate action plan of our strategies. Uh, these metrics, uh, we gather them from different data sources like uh, Monasca, like uh, 
pair of Noki and Celometer. And uh, we also uh, have uh, actions that uh, connected uh, through the API to the projects like uh, Neutron, Nova, uh, Cinder, and so on. Uh, so let's see for our workflow. Uh, initially, we have uh, monitoring uh, when we gather uh, metrics uh, from our uh, data sources. Then we decide and uh, make some analysis process uh, when, uh, if we need uh, to stabilize our uh, cloud somehow. And Yes, if we need, then what should we do? We need to use some of our strategies. Uh, currently, we have uh, six strategies. Uh, it's like workload stabilization using uh, standard deviation algorithm. It's like uh, uh, workload consolidation when you need to gather virtual machines across the, across the cluster on the, uh, as few uh, nodes as possible and then turning off some nodes or uh, uh, turning them to the ACPI S3 state. Then uh, after we uh, know that, uh, yeah, okay, we need some stabilization actions, uh, let's do audit. Uh, uh, we launch our strategy and we get action plan result. Uh, action plan is a set of actions that um, are suggested to the administrator uh, to be applied or not to be. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, many contributors uh, like Intel, Savionica, Bcom, NAC, ZTE, Walmart, IBM, uh, Tudor University, Orange, and AT&T. And uh, uh, Watcher is uh, used in uh, NIC and Intel platform. Uh, it is also used by MIT uh, University and by uh, Garvard University. So let's continue. Okay, I'm the demo. going to show, quickly show you a demo. Uh, oh, sorry. Maybe need to open it. Just open it uh, outside of presentation. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Outside. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So I'm going this way. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. So this is an uh, OpenStack cluster with uh, three computer nodes, and now we have four virtual machines on computer eight and one on seven. And then when uh, the VMs goes uh, migrated or deleted, uh, the Compute 7 goes idle, then Watcher uh, generate an action to power off the Compute 4 to save energy. And then after that, uh, when the workload increase and we need more compute uh, or host to, uh, to, to support the, our tasks, then Watcher will generate op optimization to uh, help. And this is our dashboard, Watcher dashboard. And this is the uh, initial hypervisor. You can see from that uh, four VMs on compute eight and one on compute seven. And then we, uh, after we delete one VM, the compute seven goes idle and then we create an audit to uh, generate an optimization action. Yeah, we use audit template and then and then create audit using that audit template. So instance of audit attack. Yeah, audit. and we can, uh, uh, here we create a continuous audit. That means uh, it will aud uh, generate optimization actions um, continuously. And we can see here we successfully generated the actions to oh, power off. Okay. That's it? No, we still have, can we? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, here, uh, 
the next uh, action we when we create more virtual machines, we might need a, another compute or host to support the task. And the virtual world uh, will generate the actions or power on compute for automatically. Can we speed okay. up the video? Doesn't that good? Uh, Watcher is uh, fully documented and uh, okay. yeah, I think that's all. Okay. Uh, Watcher okay, is yeah. fully documented and uh, we have a wiki page and uh, we have very active IRC channel. Uh, you can uh, get us on OpenStack Watcher channel. Uh, so we have uh, different uh, repositories, uh, mainly published on GitHub. We are under Big Ten, so uh, we are welcome you if you want to be our contributors. So. Okay, if you have any questions, just come to our channel. So yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you for your time. For coming.